Hi, and welcome to the show. In this week's show, we're going to go through how to make yourself an external monitor using a seven inch LCD, a driver board, and some materials from the local hardware shop. So the parts you'll need for this project are the seven inch LCD screen and the driver board. We've covered those before, and I'll put the description to the previous videos in the description for this video. Um, some quarter inch, 30 millimeter nut and bolt set, a uh, bit of double sided tape, uh, another quarter inch bolt, that one's about uh, 50 millimeters, some 30 millimeter DAR, so this is just a uh, uh, 30 by 30 wood block, and I've got these in two 225 millimeter lengths and two 100 millimeter lengths, and I've got here a corner brace, 50 millimeter corner tri brace. Uh, that'll be used to uh, help frame up this frame. To make the frame, all you do is lay your pieces out on the bench, screw these brackets to the wooden framework, and then when you're ready, apply double-sided tape to those brackets, stick your screen to the double-sided tape, and you're done. So let's get assembling. So once you've got up to this stage whereby you're putting the driver board into the, uh, the back part of this housing, there's a few options. You can have it mounted just out the edge like this so you can get at the uh, controllers fairly easily. You're limited by the length of the, uh, the uh, cable run there. But I'll probably be mounting mine just in here and the mounting options you can put a bit of board, a bit of um, plastic to separate the back of this driver board to the, mat uh, the metal which is the brackets as well as the back of the LCD. Uh, obviously you don't want them shorting out so you need to separate the two with a bit of plastic, a bit of wood or in my case I'm just going to use some double sided tape and sit that board in there quite firmly uh, and I can always remove it when I want to later on. And once I've done that I'll simply need to get at um, this bottom piece here and make some room and enough space so that the cables, the power um, can be uh, run through the bottom but I want to leave enough space there using some of these here to be able to put a, a camera mount so a, a quarter inch camera thread in the bottom of this piece here in order to be able to put it on some sort of camera mount if I want to or just attach it to a stand. Okay so as we've talked about before with these boards they're good for about 5 volts through to 12 volts so which means that as long as we can connect something to that barrel jack or solder something onto the positive and negative pins on this board, uh, we can get power to it. So I've got a pre-wired barrel jack that fits onto uh, this board nicely. So I've connected the barrel jack and I can just pull power somewhere out of the bottom here and my HDMI connection. Okay, so that's connected up, HDMI. Now, what I can do is I've got one of these uh, battery boxes and this particular battery box has a USB connection on it and this particular one is rated at 5 volts it's not regulated so it's actually 1.5 times 4 so it's really 6 volts but it's fine in this case so if I've got some form of cable or plug like I've got one here that I can connect into there grab the positive and negative of this and I can have myself a portable power supply So, as you can see, a 7 inch homemade monitor, um, able to be attached to a tripod, which I think I'll find quite handy, and running HDMI or VGA inputs, or actually even composite RCA input as well. So, there you go, nice simple little project to be able to do, and make yourself a handy uh, external monitor for 
cameras or whatever else you need to run. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.